when Alfonso Ribeiro filed a lawsuit against Fortnite and NBA 2K for stealing his intellectual property, I almost laughed. I was in the car and the podcast I was listening to started discussing it. Going further down the rabbit hole of people with amazing lawsuits against developers is Backpack Kid. Some days when I read the news and listen to what is going on, I ask myself, is this real? Back to the stupid that is Alfonso, on December 17th, 2018, he filed a lawsuit in federal court asserting that Epic Games and Take-Two Interactive had used the Carlton Dance without his permission or credit. Alfonso requested the judge stop both parties from using the moves as he was in the process of copywriting it. Now comes the federal government of copyright office. I'm thinking this case will go on forever and the government will just drag the process out. For two of the pieces of Alfonso's claims as intellectually created property, the registration supervisor of the federal government department of copyright stated, the combination of these dance steps is a simple routine that is not registrable as choreographic work. The supervisor went on to say that in the performance that Alfonso submitted from the 2014 season of Dancing with the Stars as proof of his use of the dance, that the person dancing with him, Whitney Carson, could also be counted as a choreographer in the instance he cited, and since she was contracted through ABC, then ABC would own part of his dance. Taking an even harder look at the specific lawsuit, you can find clips from 2012 in which Alfonso states he, quote, stole, end quote, moves from Courtney Cox and Eddie Murphy as his impression of a white person and what they look like when dancing. Setting aside the rife hypocrisy in making statements like this and thinking about people in such a degrading manner, he used the word stole. While Alfonso's lawyers have argued that he was using the word stole in jest, it still demonstrates that he claims as intellectual property is something that he really just samples from other artists. This leads me to my closing. This may seem like a small thing and something that shouldn't gain any real attention, and I would agree if the lawsuit had simply been beaten on its merits in court. What I think should be drawn from this, and why I'm interested in it, is the government upheld the rights of the public and fair use. They may not have come out and said it this way, but that is truly what the argument was all about. If anything you create remotely represents something that someone else has done before, then there would be nothing creative. If people are allowed to steal under these sorts of arguments, and yes, I call this an attempt to steal, there is a diminishing desire for people to, and companies to make creative things. To think that someone putting three or four movements of their body together would entitle them to millions of dollars made by a company that worked for years hard to create an awesome video game is sheer nonsense and should be treated as such. I hope that no one takes Alfonso Ribeiro seriously in the future. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, smash that like button. And if you would like to see more of this content, hit that subscribe button. Till next time.